DSpace is hosting the Ground Vehicle Technology Conference to facilitate our customer sharing of experiences and innovations. We're bringing industry leaders together to compare best practices for developing and testing mechatronic systems. This uh, next April will be the 20th anniversary of General Motors' uh, first delivery of a DSpace hardware in the loop system. So uh, we've had a very grand partnership with DSpace for many years, but just remember, the big things are coming. We don't live to talk about software architectures and software product lines. We live to talk about consumer devices that we're delivering to people. And if you're just getting into the uh, industry right now, you're gonna have a great career ahead of you. But you're gonna have to deal with this complexity, scalability, and sustainability for the entire length and breadth of your career. The conference is important to DSpace because we can introduce new products to a large group as well as explain the benefits to their development processes. This conference has been quite impressive. When I first stepped into the ballroom here and saw it, that it was standing room only, it told me right away that there's real value to be had in attending this conference. The DSpace Technology Conference is important to customers because it provides an opportunity to benchmark best practices, to learn about new innovations, and to network among colleagues. DSpace is embarking upon two new activities that are shown on the bottom of this slide, which is virtual validation and intelligent data management. Now there is another important question that arises at this point. Can't you do all these things also with existing ALM and PLM solutions? My answer is quite clear. You might have a tough job trying this. The reason is very simple. Existing ALM and PLM solutions do not naturally understand the data objects of your model-based design flow. First, we've used the, the published DSpace work as a reference to now kind of further our, our looking into how to apply 26262 part eight. So we use um, a DSpace hardware in the loop unit and a micro auto box to do a lot of testing outside of the vehicle so that we can make sure a lot of the control algorithms we develop are, you know, we can put them through a lot of um, testing to make sure that, you know, they respond correctly to fault conditions and that they're safe to put on the car. I think this is a great conference. It's an opportunity for folks to kind of get outside the four walls of their day-to-day -day and really see what others are doing, see what DSpace is doing, um, be able to learn. I'm always uh, in favor of forums where you can continue to learn and uh, understand your subject matter.